most of the time inside SOLIDWORKS drawing, we'll be uh, using standard three view, that's a model view and uh, projected views, right? So these are the most common options. And other than that, we have another option inside SOLIDWORKS drawing, which uh, we can utilize to create the different drawing views. Now to use that, obviously you need a part. So I have already opened the part. I'll switch back to the drawing and once you are in the drawing make sure your part is open in the background and uh, what you can do is you can come to this uh, resources panel uh, over to your right and over here we have the view palette now view palette already knows what part is open in the background so let's say if there are multiple files or a part or assembly open so it will show this drop down over here so right now I have only have one part open so you can see the part name over here right and below this we have some other options like importing annotations and uh, auto start projected view right and some other option which are not highlighted right now. now below that we have all the different views that we basically create while using the standard view or the model view or the project view. so you can simply drag any of the views like this and then as i hover my mouse away from that you can get all the different projection views now this is because i have selected auto start projected view when i switch it off i don't think it will work so let's say i'm happy with this and let's drag this one now drag this one Right now you can see it's the projection is not working because I have switched off the auto start projected view. Let's switch it on once again and let's tap this isometric. That add bottom view. Right, so now you can see how the projection is working just by checking this box to switch it on or off according to your preference another thing that i want to talk about in this view palette is every time you add a view you'll see a green tick mark added to your uh, view so this basically indicates that uh, you know you have uh, to add different views and so that it will be easy for you to remember okay i have added already added the frontal view or okay I have already added the left view and the bottom view so it reminds you that you have added that so no need to add once again or something like that just a reminder okay and uh, the other thing that in that uh, we can see inside view palette is this three little boxes uh, I mean a box with three little dots so this vertical what you can do with this one is if I hover says draw to select a part or assembly so right now I have only a single part open in the background and I want to open one more so you can click on this one and it will take you to the folder so you can open another part or assembly and then it will be added in this drop down and you can add all those uh, this. right so that's it for the view palette I hope you guys uh, utilize this tool and uh, if you have any doubts with this one feel free to comment down below i'll see you in the next tutorial Peace.